Welcome to another adventure. In tonight's adventure, I'm going to show you a phenomena that is so rare that it only takes place on a single beach, on a small island, on a certain night of the year. Stay tuned. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. As the sun sets in the evening sky, we get ready for tonight's adventure. The sea is bountiful with fish, which are also here for tonight's phenomena. There is so much fish in the sea, the pelicans have started a bombardment. All of these creatures have gathered here for tonight's phenomena, which is the annual Jinga catch. Jinga is the Hindi word for shrimp. But this is no ordinary shrimp. It is considered to be the sweetest shrimp in the world. And the only place you can find it is here at the Carcass Point. To better explain this phenomenon to you, I will first have to give you a small geography lesson. Trinidad and Tobago is a twin island republic located at the southmost end of the Caribbean, just off the coast of Venezuela. From the Caracas Point to the Venezuela mainland, there is approximately seven miles of sea. This channel is known as the Columbus Channel or Serpent's Mouth, leading from the Atlantic Ocean into the Gulf of Paria is a deadly current. The Orinoco River is one of the largest rivers in South America. It flows out of the Venezuela mainland and into the ocean, which continues in the ocean through the serpent's mouth. It is the river that flows through the sea. The bed of this river is filled with dangerous rocks and the current is even more dangerous. And it is within this treacherous river that flows through the sea, we find the Jinga shrimp. The shrimps has evolved in this treacherous terrain over hundreds of years. Their body evolving to be more tough than normal shrimps. And this is what gives them that extraordinary flavor. The tougher texture of the body gives it a much more delicious appeal. Because of the treacherous terrain they live in, the shrimp trawlers cannot go out to their location and catch them. The rocks would damage their nets. But the locals of Ikakas village has been catching these shrimps for hundreds of years. And this is how they do it. During the dry season, when the river is not as full and the current is not as strong, the shrimps get less feed because there are less sediments coming down the river. So on the darkest nights during the months of March, April, and May, the shrimps would venture out of the river and onto the Icacus coastline. If you time the tides right in the darkness of the new moon, then you will be able to catch this delicious shrimp. Today, my wife and I had joined up with a couple of the local Ikakas fishermen. They have been catching this jinga for many years. Mikkel, Gopal, Lachman, and Sukdeo will be our guides for the afternoon. Although the sun has set, the sky is still aglow as it is normal here in our tropical country. The fisherman knows it is too bright to start catching the jinga but they would like to demonstrate for us how they set up the net while it still has light. They would also like to try their luck to see what they might catch. If you would like to see the techniques in using a hand scene, I will leave a link in the description for a video I did previously. Let's wish them luck and see what they might catch in this trial run. The tradition of catching jinga is something I learned as a boy. As my father was a shrimp trawler captain, 
and he sailed these seas catching shrimp. He taught me of the tradition of catching chinga. And now every year I come with my family to catch chinga. This year I've joined with this team of Ikakas fishermen as I will not be able to film while I was catching shrimp myself. But it is a family tradition for us to catch these shrimp every year when they come in so we can have them in storage all year round. Let us see what is in the net on this trial run. It was a bit early for us to start catching shrimp. We will probably have to wait another half hour before they start coming in. But we were able to catch a nice school of blinch. These make excellent fried fish and we will be keeping them for such. And even though it was a bit early, there were definite signs that the shrimps were coming. As we waited for the sky to get a little more dark and the shrimp to start coming in, I decided to look around for some of the natural animals that might live around here. And it was no surprise for me to find quite a few iguanas sleeping on the coastline, as it is very common to see iguanas within the coconut estates of Ikakas. Tell me what do you think of these iguanas? Leave a comment down below. I would really love to hear what you have to say. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. After that little break, it was now time to get back to the task at hand, catching Jenga. The water is now very cold, but the determination of these fishermen is very true. This looks promising. This is turning out to be a truly amazing adventure. Oh yes, there are shrimp in this catch. Would you like to experience an adventure like this? Have you ever eaten Jenga? Leave a comment. I would love to know what you have to say about this. And they even caught a beautiful salmon. Fish goes in the fish basket and shrimp in the shrimp bucket. Let's try that again. Let's see what we caught this time. Yes, they've done it again. I can see lots of shrimp inside of the scene bag here. Whatever we catch that we do not need, we release back into the ocean. Like the small stingray, Jinga is considered to be the sweetest shrimp in the world. Many gourmet chefs prefer using Jinga shrimp. Its unique texture gives it a very satisfying taste. And while many try to figure out what might be the secret ingredient why the shrimp tastes so good, the secret ingredient is actually the shrimp. The shrimp is usually caught together with seaweed, 
and these squids. These squid are very delicious and are usually caught with shrimp along the coastline of Trinidad. And again, we will try our luck. Let's see what we caught this time. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Caption Jinga always brings back fond memories as I have spent many nights on this beach catching Jinga. Soon the tide will be too low for us to catch any more Jinga. Let's see what is in the net on this try. The locals call this a dogfish. I suppose if they are catfish, then there must be dogfish as well. What we do not need, we release back into the water. Locally, this is called a snook. What do you call it in your country? Leave a comment, I would like to know. Leave a comment letting me know if you have ever tried Jenga. Lots of Jenga. I can just see myself eating some curry Jenga tomorrow. Curry Jenga, Kalalu, Dalpuri Roti, and a watermelon punch. Mmm. Altogether, we caught 17 pounds of Jenga and all of this fish that you see here. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.